Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about uh, generating histogram plots using R. So this is the file which we will use, uh, each row contains a value. <coughs> uh, we will uh, generate a histogram plot of this file and first what we need to do is to open the R console and in this R console uh, first we will set the working directory as a directory where the file is saved the file is actually saved in e directory and videos in r tutorial folder here uh, so i'll just write here set a working directory to e uh, videos r tutorial yeah no bracket close now uh, i have to save this files the values in this files in one variable so here w1 and then read dot table and then uh, values dot text and then header true right so head equals to true now bracket close uh, yeah now if i just write here w1 you can see the values are saved into w1 right so now uh, it's very uh, straightforward what uh, we'll do here is just write the hist command that is for histogram and then hist uh, command and then w1 dollar values and just click enter right now here you can see all the values are presented in a histogram here and uh, you can see the <coughs> main uh, heading histogram of w1 dollar v value so if I just want to write some specific uh, value in front, uh, instead of this histogram then I write here main equals to for instance score comma and then in x axis x lab equals to uh, let's say students or um, students of grade 10 right so if I just enter here, here you can see now that the main uh, heading is score and all the values of uh, one quiz or assignment is of uh, grade 10 is this one right now uh, there are other ways to present the histogram as well for instance yeah, I just break it into uh, breaks two now you can see that it's the two boxes of histogram are only shown here uh, all the values using just two histogram bars yeah, I can just change it as well from for instance I just want to make it three then then there are three different histograms shown here and so on and so forth and again uh, there is another command xlim which we can use to uh, change the variable values uh, in the in the x-axis here you can see that now you can see it's the values as shown here as 0 comma 3 or just change it to uh, 6 so so and so forth whatever you want to do with this plot how uh, whatever way you want to present this plot you can play around with these variables and you can represent your data as you like right i think that's uh, enough for today thank you bye bye